Mark is in the water. Let us know when you guys are ready for us to go ahead and release. Tethers all the way out. Roger. Somebody call me back there? This is an audio slate, audio slate for dive. Test, Hotel. test. Can you One, hear me up in the front nine, row? Yep. Five, Can you turn five, on the sexton camera? It is on. It's on? Zero seven, Roger. 31. Mark.
There's a lot of stuff in the water. Ooh. Is there some other way to get Griffon up here? Yeah. Is there like an internal one? Is there a, like a local? Ship house, right? Can you click on that window right there so I can see what the URL is? Do you have control of this one? No, I don't. I think maybe, I don't know which computer is this yeah. one. How do we think it's going to go today? <laughs> so far. Oh, jeez. All right. How's everybody feeling tonight? <laughs> Discombobulated. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hang in there. Okay. Well, when our team is ready, why don't we start off with introductions? Yeah, this one. Yeah. I did over here. Is that what screwed it up? Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. Sorry. All right. Hey, I'm Adam Sewell, professor at University of Rhode Island, uh, director of the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute, a submarine volcanologist, and uh, watch lead on, on uh, what are we, 8 to 12. Really excited to be here with this awesome team in this awesome spot. Sorry, follow-up question. I forgot. Favorite place to watch the sunrise or sunset? I uh, don't like watching the sunrise <laughs> unless I have to. <laughs> not that it's not, not it. beautiful, it's just so early. Right. Uh, favorite place to watch sunset? I don't know. Uh, back porch, 
with my family. Let's go. Hi, I'm Jules, and I'm struggling to set up the still cam. Um, I work at the Museum of Comparative Zoology. Um, I'm a scientist here on the Nautilus. Um, yeah, I'm happy to be here. And favorite place to watch sunrise or sunset? Was that the question? Yes. Uh, I'd say the ocean. Oh. Nautilus is pretty right. ideal for right. watching sunsets. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You have a good That's point. True. Well, hi everyone. My name is Paola. I am this watch data logger. I am from Puerto Rico. And as favorite sunsets go, I mean, Puerto Rico, you can feet. <laughs> you really can't. <laughs> They're beautiful on really? the west side of the island. Oh, so okay, I think okay. that should be my favorite so far. Thank you. Well, hello to our friends online. My name is Annie Halleck. I am an SCF for 8 to 12 science communication fellow. This is my first year, um, my first expedition with EV Nautilus. So I'm pretty excited. And my um, favorite place it's well, back home uh, on top of a mountain. It's called Aloao, so you can see almost all of American Samoa. So the sunsets are and sunrise are really beautiful. Yeah, so when the front row is ready with their introductions. Oh, fish. Fish. It looks. <laughs> He's curious. Shane, I think you're up. Oh, cool. Um, I'm Shane Waters. I'm from the Coast Guard Academy, and I am the navigation inter intern. This is not my watch, but I just <laughs> wanted to do the launch. <laughs> um, my favorite place to watch the sunset or sunrise is on a boat. Yeah, I'm Robert Waters. I'm a Herc pilot. Uh, we're not related. <laughs> uh, I guess my favorite place is the dog park on the cliffs by oh, the ocean near my okay. house. Hi, uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm uh, TJ Scanlon. Um, I would say from the from the porch in my house, definitely um, looking out over the, the west coast of Ireland and the Atlantic Ocean, definitely. Nice. Uh, favorite place to watch the sunrise and sunset. And Dave is busy. Dave's back. Dave's back. <laughs> I do not know. Hey, uh, sorry, troubleshooting stuff. Uh, we had a little uh, power outage operation here and uh, trying to get everything to come back up. Uh, I'm Dave Robertson. I'm lead video engineer on this uh, expedition. Just lost the. Uh, uh, oh. Sitting in the video chair here Losing and cameras fixing and the things when they break. Uh, favorite place to watch. Uh, I'm with Adam. I hate sunrises. Um, sunsets uh, on the beach on the Pacific coast. Awesome. Thank you. For everyone online, um, thanks for tuning in. Our current. Oh, I'm. Estimated max depth is 2,400 meters, dive duration about 23. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, please join us and send us your questions. Our awesome team will get to answer them real soon. Annie, did you introduce yourself? Yes, I did. I missed your sunrise or sunset. Oh, so it's on top of a mountain in Aloal, so it's really steep. Uh -huh. um, you can see almost all of American Samoa. Mm. So it's pretty accessible. So. Cool. Mm -hmm. If you're curious, the depth that we're over right now is exactly 2,388 meters, according to the sonar. So. Oh, okay.
Okay. For those of you who are just tuning in, um, we're currently launching on an unnamed GEO, uh, GEO 123, north northwest of Kingman Reef. Um, so what's interesting about um, this place that we're exploring, this region has been nominated to potentially become a national marine sanctuary. Uh, so for more information, please check out nautiluslive.org uh, or noaa.gov. Um, please send in your questions and your comments Crunch, and what you think about um, this region becoming a sanctuary. Yes. Uh, stay tuned. Our team is currently uh, working to troubleshoot our video transmission. So thank you for hanging in there with us. If you missed our previous dives, no worries. We have our awesome highlights on our website, nautiluslive.org, so check it out. We will be posting more highlights in the days to come, so stay tuned. Shout out to our friends from Norway. Thanks for tuning in. What's our ETA for when we reach the bottom? I'm guessing it'll be right at the end of our watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, uh, what do we got? Like a hour? 80 minutes. And 20 minutes, I'd uh, say. Okay, okay. 80 minutes, hour, 20 With maybe 50 seconds, Adam, 25? Just guessing. Yeah, I don't know. It seemed more like 79 <laughs> minutes and 43 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just about right.
want more? <laughs> uh. We might get an hour of being on the bottom, right? Or I guess yeah, I think so. waited for it to clear because it's awesome. not clearing. So is there anything in particular that we're looking for? Any goals for this dive? Uh, yeah, we, we want to, first of all, just kind of explore the region, understand what we're seeing. We're going to be diving deeper on the, this particular seamount than we oh, have right. so far on this expedition. So <coughs> looking for organisms. <laughs> Excuse me. That we haven't seen before, or that uh, are beyond their their known depth range, right. and see what's inhabiting the lower slopes of the seamount. Certainly, be interested in looking at the rocks we've collected, a number of rocks from the seamount, but all from the very top of it. So a lot of carbonates and uh, kind of sedimentary rocks, and so we'd like to get some in place. Uh, basalts from down here and uh, you know who knows what we'll discover every right. time you go to a place that's on the seafloor that no one's ever been before you never know what you're gonna find that's true Paolo what are you hoping to see down there Oh wow, um, I'm really hoping to see big corals. Corals? Yes. What kind of corals? Any kind? Any kind. Okay. We haven't seen much hard, much of the hard corals. I really like the sclerotarium ones, Hylophilium pertussum, but I don't think we might be able to see those here. Before we came off the bottom on the dive earlier today, they saw a lot of big stocked corals, or stocked what? sponges, stocked oh. sponges, sorry. And uh, yeah, so bone up on your stocked sponges so we can <laughs> identify them. <laughs> what about you, Adam? What are you hoping to see? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, what should I hope to see? Well, I really have enjoyed seeing the little crabs holding the anemones on right, their heads. Right. I wouldn't mind seeing so another one of those. Um, and I want to see a rock shaped like something else. Like we all look at it and we <laughs> say, what? That looks like a loaf of bread or... <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Only if everybody agrees though. But yeah, so that's <laughs> the real hard part. How about like bagels? We haven't seen bagels in a while. I did see one bagel oh, on wow. this trip. Oh, really? Yeah. A bagel shaped rock? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I mean, we we can all probably agree on a potato-shaped rock, but <laughs> um, I think something a little more exotic. Uh, I think it may be more of a potato-shaped rock. Well, oh, <laughs> you, well, you say potato. <laughs> I say potato. That's actually Stop the ball. opposite of the way it goes, isn't it? <laughs> I, you say, I say potato. You say potato. Potato? Potato. <laughs> Tomato? Tomato. Tomato. <laughs> How about you, Samantha? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the question? What are you hoping to um, see on this dive? Well, I'm always hoping to see squid, and we've already Ooh. seen some squid, so I'm actually done with the dive. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you later. We're good to go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that's a good question. I am really excited now by the idea of a lot of stock sponges. They're incredible in the uh -oh. diversity of shapes What's and types of stocks. Ooh. That's happening. What do we got for light levels? I also always love stock crinoids, so. Mm. I like all the stock creatures, they just seem <laughs> otherworldly. <laughs> that looks okay. Be good. I'm always hoping to see a Dumbo octopus. Oh, mm. me too, yeah. You, you, you think we'll be able to see one? If we all wish hard enough. 
manifest enough. <laughs> we'll see it the box, but <laughs> unrelated. Uh, does anyone have any experience with uh, setting up still cam? Not me. Okay. Sorry, no. Um, Dan, maybe. Yeah, I spoke to Dan. Is the protocol um, that big? What was that? The, is that helping or um, confusing? Not so much. TJ, what do you want to see on this dive? The end. The end. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, it's going to be a long time before the end of the dive. Um, I don't know. I'd, um, everything's everything's new. It's it's fascinating. Um, I'd like to see some hatchet fish. Oh. Be nice. I think that's the coolest thing I've seen so far at uh, diving. It was a, a shoal of silver hatchet fish in the in the med. Um, it was at uh, around 1,000 meters. Hmm. Are there chimera out here? Ooh, that would be really cool. On a seamount in the Galapagos, I saw it was like Chimera City. I mean, they were all what? over the place. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, we see a lot of Chimera. I think I, here I think in the Pacific, just all through the equatorial they're all Pacific. They're everywhere. Yeah. 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 Chimera, Chimera, is there? Remember the their lasmobranchs? They're, they're they're sharks today, or they're related to sharks, related sharks. or something. Yeah. something. Look at you. We've got a biologist here in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Just googled it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more about this haggis fish that you want to see. Hatchet fish. Oh, Hatchet not fish. the haggis <laughs> fish? He's Irish. Yeah, not Scottish. Oh Let's God. go back to potatoes. Kerpings, <laughs> <laughs> right, golden wonders. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Yeah, what other types of potato species are there? Wait, uh, varieties. Uh, not species. <laughs> plenty, plenty. Uh, the taxonomy oh, is not complete on potatoes. <laughs> Clade. The sweet ah, clade. <laughs> British Queens. Oh. All great names. Okay. Are hatchet fish, uh, do they go by another common name? I'm blanking on what this looks like. Is it one of the ones with like the bioluminescent um, pores? Are they silvery? Silvery. Yeah. yeah. With a big forehead? Oh, like a hatchet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they also go by machete fish. <laughs> no, I oh, just wow. made that up. Yeah. They're apparently a freshwater hatchet fish too. Oh, some alien looking fish. We haven't seen dog sharks and dog sharks that would be really cool. Or cat sharks. Hopefully not together. Fight or like jaguar cats and dogs. shark. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's... No. Okay, it's no. a good joke. Yep. Was that what? What shark did we see when we got in the water? Black tip, something well, or other. Probably white tip. It was white, white tips. tips. Yeah, it was yeah. Nanny. It was white, white tips. tips. Did it? It kind of looked to me like, just observationally, that. The tips of its fins were black, though. Oh. Here's a oh. very bad quality photo of it. Oh, no. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Um, black tips are usually reef dwellers, uh, are they? I don't know. Uh, get, uh, there's been a few oceanic white tips that have been uh, circling us for yeah, a few days. Yeah, we've seen some. But the name does refer to the color of the tips of their yeah. fins. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I learned how to make a shark rattle in Palau. Hmm. You take what? a water bottle and you, you blow air in it and put a couple rocks in it and you shake it and the sharks come 
swimming and shake what it do they think underwater. Is they think there's a feeding event. Oh, oh. They yeah, come underwater. Rushing in. Yeah. You know when uh, when we tow like a magnetometer through the water, the sharks love it. They come and attack it, and I think it's like either the electromagnetic field it produces or the vibrations of the cable. I'm not sure what it is, but they seem to really enjoy that. If yeah, I don't think a magnetometer makes magnetic field. No, just, yeah, that would not be good. <laughs> would it? Maybe when it's calibrating or something. <laughs> so heavy metal music, if you put it on a, underwater, it attracts white sharks. Oh. white sharks. Oh, what? Huh. That's the most heavy metal thing I've heard. I think it's called death metal. Death metal? <laughs> yeah. Norwegian death metal? Maybe. Okay. Any kind of heavy metal? No, it has to be death metal. It has, I think it's oh. <laughs> has to be death metal. Yeah. That's, it's the low vibrations of the, of the music, I think, or something like that. Apparently, the dense tones of the death metal, um, it mimics low frequencies of struggling fish. <laughs> so it's oh, they think. Oh, wait, what? Is that a music critic review? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, they use in Australia ACDC Muse records to change shark behavior. Okay, ACDC does not classify as death metal. Death metal. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like two separate events. How's the still cam struggle bus? Bad. Oh no. Not good. Is Working there not on a, it. Is there not a configuration file you can recall that sets it up? No. It's a it's a interactive GUI to select all the features. Oh that's strange. Uh, who would know how to set that up? Leela? Leela, yeah, I think she's I tried to find Leela. I think she might be sleeping. Yeah. Um yeah. Yeah. Apologies, I don't know anything it's about Friday it. Friday night, she might be out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that could be. Not with that back. Noticing our uh, slurp is on can seven. Do we want to keep spinning around to flush for well, preparedness? Well, particular this evening. I know I am. A, <laughs> I just started paying attention. Ah. <laughs> uh. You're on TV. Why? Because Robert Waters, this is your life. <laughs> All right, Annie, fire us up with another question. Another question. Hmm. Best concert you ever went to? Wow. Best concert. I'm going to have to think about that. Um, Probably no, you'll get a lot of big acts coming through American Samoa, huh? Not a lot, actually. Um, well, we were supposed to, I don't know who, okay, we were supposed to go watch a BTS. 
Oh. The, yeah, uh, when they were in California at the Rose Bowl, but that's right before COVID hit. Oh, no. So they refunded everybody's ticket. Yeah, so we weren't able to go. Oh, sorry. Katy Perry, Las Vegas, last year. What? Yeah. So cool. we saw Katy Perry. I saw Katy Perry for the first time. Yeah, what about you guys? Hmm. I think the favorite concert I went to was Ramon's concert. And Joey Ramon flicked his guitar pick out into the crowd, and I reached up and, like, grabbed it out of the air. <laughs> it was the most epic. Wait. It was the most epic moment of my life. Wait, Joey Ramon? Yeah. The, Did you grab his guitar? Oh, I'm <laughs> there, sorry. There's a lot of back row people <laughs> learning who the Ramones are right yeah. now. <laughs> Meet on the brat with a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite song? Oh, uh, they're all so similar from the Ramones. <laughs> they're really. The funny thing about them is all their songs are like a minute and a half long. It's a bygone Ooh. era. I would love to hear from the front row. Any concerts, favorite concerts you guys have been to? 1973. <laughs> Seattle Coliseum. Wait. Jimi Hendrix. Led Zeppelin. Oh, Led oh, Zeppelin. Oh, okay. Okay. That's pretty hard to top. I went to Cal Jam. What's that mean? Cal Jam was a, like a four day long concert with all the four days and that was in the late 70s that was did you like <laughs> camp there was it yeah was well, credence there there was all the b big names i don't remember but yeah like queen and wow nice. cool. <laughs> credence uh credence clearwater they're playing in ireland when i go home we're no home, uh, really yeah, how many of them how many of the original ones are left no uh, no they're, they're still on the go oh cool just john fogarty uh, forward his, to, yeah. 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 His his brother died. Oh, guys, uh, this is so and weird. And the other a couple of years ago, I was in Svalbard, Norway. This is an island up in the Arctic Circle. And I was going out on a ship. But the day after I left, Robert Plant was playing a concert in Svalbard. <laughs> so strange. Does he even have nice. a voice anymore? I'm <laughs> not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. So if you ever see the movie, The Song Remains the Same, which is the uh, Let's Up on Concert movie. No, I haven't seen no, that. Okay, well. Once Are you again. in it? No, I'm not. It was shot in Madison Square Garden at the end of the tour, and I saw saw him in Seattle at the uh, middle of the tour. Uh, and it's pretty much the same set list. Nice. Cal Jam was a rock music festival <laughs> co-headlined by Deep Purple and Emerson Lake and Palmer. Nice. Oh, okay. cool. LP. So they they got overrun by too big a crowds and they totally couldn't like control the crowds. So the whole place. Wow. Just, like, <laughs> Where was it, Bob? The Ontario Motor Speedway. Oh, of course. Out at the end of it. East of Los Angeles. Yeah. Samantha, concert story. Yeah, I'm I'm debating. Um, I think uh, I saw Robin, the Swedish pop musician, in Berlin a couple of years ago, right before the pandemic. That was really awesome. Huh. Uh, but on a smaller scale, uh, there's this venue in Big Sur called the Henry Miller Library that's under the Redwoods with a little wooden stage. And they have a lot of like local musicians play, but also big musicians come through. like. Uh, I, I listen to Modest Mouse from outside of the show because mm -hmm. <laughs> there's only room for about 100 people on the grass. and Just a really cool venue. You have to drive about an hour south of, hour and a half south of the main uh, city of Monterey to get there. So it's out in the middle of nowhere, right on the, right inland from the ocean. Every show is pretty amazing there. Cool. Nice. Paula? 
think I still have yet to live my life and get a really cool concert. <laughs> but <laughs> you gotta go see Bad Bunny. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, so many people, so many friends have gone to his concert in Puerto Rico, and he makes a whole setup. Like he even brings like a museum, like the Bad Bunny Museum. Oh my God! To <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he was like, <laughs> oh yeah, but I haven't gone yet. That's oh. very immersive. <laughs> yeah, it's a very immersive experience. But most of my friends get COVID after what? Oh no! So no. I've been trying to not go to them. But there's a band, a local band that I really like, and one at one point we we're walking. Uh, in the town's plaza, and they were playing at a bar, so we just sat there, front row, listening to them, and that was really nice. That's cool. Yeah. All right, Jules, take a break from that thing. I think you need a little breather. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about it a concert. It won't let me adjust to. shutter speed. Yeah. Okay. No, shutter speed is what it is. Um, I was going to go to the Taylor Swift concert. Oh. What? Yeah, I got really cheap tickets during pre-sale. Um, but it was on the 19th, and I was here, so. Oh, no. Um, no, but it's okay. I would <laughs> rather be here, honestly. Uh, but my friends still got to go, and it looked pretty fun. Cool. We could, like, play it on the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually... I can put on... I have my ukulele. I can put on my Taylor <laughs> Swift <laughs> costume. <laughs> Exactly the same experience. <laughs> it's really the same. Not the experience you wanted. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but equally <laughs> unique. You can just skip the ukulele. I just want to see the costume. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't be better than the, um, what was it, the urchin Halloween costume. <laughs> oh, yeah. That you're planning. It's urchin King. I think everyone's looking it's forward to it now. the same costume. <laughs> <laughs> On it? Yeah, I could I could see that mm -hmm. going for both. <sighs> okay. No, that's not cheating. Um, maybe stretching that should count as something. Yeah, maybe I'll stretch. stretch. Samantha, <laughs> what were you doing at 24? What work was I doing at 24? Uh, gosh. I was were you working... in the motorcycle gang? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I was working probably at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Um, Ooh. That's awesome. I was either a naturalist on a sailboat that we ran out of the aquarium during like three hour science under sails or sunset sails so bringing folks out and doing little science projects on them pulling up kelp doing a plankton net things like that Whoa. uh or running education programs in the aquarium or running the aquarium social media i can't remember which one of those i was doing very cool yeah, yeah. i was the aquarium's first <laughs> dedicated social media hire so <laughs> <laughs> That's That's really cool. Our MySpace Dating page myself. is no good. Yeah. <laughs> MySpace, wow. We didn't have a MySpace page, thank you. MySpace. It, was, uh, it took a lot of convincing across multiple departments to get um, Periscope, which was the like original live video app. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. Um, yeah. That was the big fight. Was Periscope associated with... Facebook? Did you do a Periscope on it Facebook? It was bought by Twitter, and then it just became like live. Okay. I, th I think I could be wrong. Um. Yeah, and then all the platforms have developed their own live. Right. Video. Yeah. Good questions. Yeah, actually, around that age, I also um went to a oceans conference in Monterey and at a film festival and met a team of submersible pilots who were, some of them were about my age. And I was like, what am I doing? This was an option. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and a, a long path from there led me to here. So that was a turning point. Oh, wow. What is around that? Around that age. What is that? Um, what did we see? What? Next to the tether cable. Oh yeah, the one in is the that, small what, square. Yeah. 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 Upper right of the lower left, so that's a weird thing to see. Yeah, it's always kind of exciting to watch the other cameras, too, because you'll see things drift by that you wouldn't see otherwise. What, what is that? Where were the submersible pilots from? 
Are you talking about the light? No, the uh, one to Ocean Gate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ocean what? Nothing. Ocean Gate. <laughs> ocean Gate. Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know where they stand now. Yeah, I think they're still doing some Titanic work. Okay. All right, how about this? Has anyone ever been on a game show? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, no, but um, I don't think no. Mm. no. Game show. Have you? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought that was going to be a leading question. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just trying to just trying to learn more about this crew. <laughs> I've been in the audience. I've been in the studio audience actually for uh it was actually a paid studio audience for Maori. <laughs> Wait, Maori? Maori. Oh, what? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Maori is something different. And, wait, Maori. Mr. Like, and the DNA results are in. Yeah. What? That's so cool. But the, the, I mean, they had to pay audience members to be there because it was so terrible. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was living in New York and trying to pay bills, so. <laughs> Maori Povich. Yeah. How was it? Just as bad as it looks like to me. <laughs> yeah. What did you yeah. get paid? Not very well, but enough to c go back a few times. I mean, like, 20 Money? bucks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it was like, like 30 to 50, depending on how huh. many hours you stayed. Huh. So it actually wasn't that bad for the amount of time invested, but. Who is the talk show host who recently passed away. Oh, I think that's... I, I don't want to... Uh, I can't... Yeah, no, maybe it's the same it. dude. I worked for... Was it Jerry Springer? Oh. No, no, never mind. It was yeah. like really recent, Jerry though. Springer. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I worked Jerry for it is, oh. NBC one time when I was in Hawaii and they did... Where in the world is Matt Lauer? Live from the ocean entry at the the eruption at Kilauea. Oh wow! And so I was like guiding people across the lava flows, including guys like carrying gas cans. Oh my gosh! <laughs> for generators, and I was oh, like, no. "You just follow me. I'll be way ahead of you." <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> wow, that's cool. So I haven't been on a game show, but I have been uh, on the stage at the Bar Bar Bob Barker studio. Wow. Uh, which is where Price is Right uh, is shot. Oh, that's and awesome. That's was, pretty uh, neat. I was, we wandered over there because we were wandering around CBS Television City uh, in Hollywood. And uh, I was actually working uh, across the hall uh, on the set of The Young and the Restless. Mm. And, wow. Uh, uh, the Young and the Restless actually has two studios uh, with uh, standing sets, uh, and we were doing a gig uh, over there. But uh, in between times, uh, walked across the hall uh, to the Bob Barker uh, stage. Uh, Price is Right wasn't in uh, production at the time. Uh, Did you but spin I'll, that big that big wheel? You know, I wanted to. It was there. <laughs> oh. it was and right, you did it. It was did right it? there. Oh, it was right no. there backstage, and uh, you know, and then you know, some guys came and said, "What are you doing back here?" I was like. Uh, dude had to come in and see the guys. <laughs> all right, get out, you know, kind of thing. Oh. Um, so yeah, the sets, the sets were all there. The games were all there, and they're all just like pushed up against the wall. That's and, cool. Uh, that kind that's, of stuff. So um, yeah, and then we, uh, uh, it was like the one hundred and fiftieth episode of The Young and the Restless, or something like that. Um, there was a big celebration, mm. uh, and I was shooting it for the streaming media uh, web stream. Of it, which was so that was in 2000, I think, something like that. So I got to do a gig at CBS Television City, which is like a big deal. I went up on the roof, and you can see the Hollywood sign from there. And I was like, Hey, wow, it was my I'd only been in LA for like two months, so it was like, Cool, there I am. You call home, I made it. <laughs> I'm king of Hollywood. <laughs> king of the world, ma. <laughs> no, no, I just uh, took a few pictures. 
that what? is... Uh, That's weird. I don't know what that is. That was silly. What's that? Uh, what what depth are we diving to today? About 2,400, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a repeat of uh, <laughs> yep. this morning, yeah. Yep. Actually, let's see our sea log. Do we have a depth that we under that? We're not. Uh, are we going to where they left off? Do we Correct. have that point? Well, nearby. Okay. Have anyone been seeing the news? I'm what just news? asking. I don't know. I've what? been really disconnected. This oh, you last want like <laughs> a you want like a brief on all yeah. the news that's happened? <laughs> yeah. Uh, nah. Nah, not me. Politicians aren't agreeing with each other once again. Oh wow! <laughs> surprise, surprise. I haven't seen the news either. Oh, I'm just this guessing. Oh, interesting. <laughs> um, passenger arrested for opening plane door. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> We've all thought about it, okay? True. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Intrusive thoughts. But it wasn't like on the tarmac. It was like as they were landing. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. They were in the air. Oh. The guy did it. They were in the air. Yeah. How the heck oh. he got the door open? So I've often no. wondered if you were like way up there and you open that door, would it suck everyone out? Uh, uh I don't want to find Maybe. out. Yeah. The thing of it is, is that the pressure on the door. Yeah, I don't think you can open the door. Such that you can't. But they were in the process of landing, so there wasn't as much pressure. But still, the wind whipped around. You only got it partially open. Uh, and there was uh, some people that were hurt by things blowing around. Well, it's traveling, you know, 500 miles an hour. Yeah. It tends to get a little breezy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can use a little fresh air. <laughs> Still would have taken quite an effort to even get the door open partially. Right. You know, so I'm not sure how it happened. Yeah, it's that's not like a, oops, I slipped right. kind of thing. Yeah. I sit in exit rows quite a bit, and uh, I always look. Oh, okay, Mister Big Time. See how the door. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I always, you know, look to see how the door operates because there's several different kinds of airplane doors, and uh, still, you know, it takes a concerted effort to even just get the the latch done, you know. So. It's pretty good one. Yeah. This is you? No, that was Lynette. Oh. But thank you for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> My drawing skills are not that up to par. Yeah, if anyone wants some post-it notes uh, to uh, draw any of the sightings that we see, we're starting a little art wall over here. Oh, oh that's I cool. Like that. Yeah, should I distribute some posties yes. here? Uh, yeah. I'll do a little oh, show nice. and tell. A little okay. art show in the, va in the van. Oh, wow. Really cool. Ooh! Oh, wow. oh, we have inspiration. This is so fun. Ooh. Artist! Oh. I love this so much. Oh, there's a stream. This is perfect since I couldn't get the still cam working. <laughs> uh, this is <laughs> the next best thing. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you. Thank so much. you. <laughs> I like this one a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Is this your pen? All good. No. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. I saw the push. If only. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> self choice. Wait, you have to make sure that people know that it's TJ. You should yeah. write TJ. Yeah, yeah. Sign it. TJ, That's please sign it. It's going to be valuable it. now if I sign that. Oh. Post it on eBay for <laughs> upwards of five hundred dollars. The time where the artist. What's our ETA? 24 minutes. Thank you, 24 minutes. Yeah, we have chat saying auction the artwork off. <laughs> I think we'll have viewers who are willing to, to buy it. <laughs> to buy the art, the art. <laughs> we can start a bidding. <laughs> a bidding war. Start a bidding war. Jules, we were talking about right, creating a shant to attract certain <gasps> creatures. So oh, wow. we want to create a shant to attract a whale shark. Yeah. So if our viewers have any <laughs> inspiration. Yeah, we're, see shanties. We, we're writing a shanty. Uh, we really want to see a whale shark. And um, we tried chanting. We tried asking nicely. We even tried a small Offering? morsel of <laughs> chocolate cake. <laughs> um, so... You know, if you have any Help us out. song lyrics, that would be great. Any suggestions to lure a whale shark? A whale shark. <laughs> we tried the baby shark <laughs> song. <laughs> Did you? Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> yeah. Missed that part. We've already seen one, right? Oh, man, I mean, I, I missed it. With a whale shark, yeah, but a lot of us missed it. Every time I take a nap, something really cool yep, happens. Right? I agree. It's sad. for everyone online thanks so much for tuning in um, if you're just joining us um, check out nautiluslive.org for our highlights from our previous dives um, stay tuned uh, ETA about 20 24 minutes yep. till we reach the bottom if you have any questions please send them in the chat So, Adam, you weren't here for this, but um, we're all drawing pictures of what we see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we don't have the slow cam working. Yeah, so. can you yeah. show him? So we're gonna yeah, show him he has to be a really fast Stand artist. Gallery showing, yeah. number two. And then chat says, I'll auction the artwork off, so we'll do that after. Jules, you know, our first one. It's great. <laughs> really well thought. Thank you. You're really <laughs> curating this, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> so expected dive duration is about 23 hours. Expected <laughs> mass <laughs> depth is 2,400 <laughs> meters. We're currently um, okay. exploring an unnamed gill northwest of Kingman <laughs> Reef. Um, so that one, if you can, that's signed by TJ. That's a self-portrait. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, who drew that arm? That's cool. That was nice. That one's really cool. Oh yeah, with the with the uh, yes, with the anemone. Whoa! Wait, who I drew that? that? You did that? And you had a different. Wow. Yeah, you have both corals. Oh. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll just go really fast. Uh. <laughs> I am so mad at the still cam. Just close that thing up. Done. Thank you. Leela, for that. you're you're going to fix it. Leela's going to fix everything. Oh, I think I see the bottom. <laughs> Did you sense it with your <laughs> echolocation? Yeah. Yeah. Just a hint. <laughs> Got about <laughs> just a thousand meters to go. Oh my god. Yeah, I have but if you eight hundred really inspiration to struck. <laughs> if you look Just you close it. enough. Just close enough. <laughs> Here. All right, this? we need more banter. What's banter? Banter? Yeah, what, what do you got? Ask us a question. Huh? Favorite candy? No, I, no, 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 no. no. I'm curious. Uh -huh. What's, What's your guys' favorite type of music? Mm. Mm. Bluegrass covers of rap songs. <laughs> Blue grass really? covers of rap songs. I do love those. <laughs> is that there is one? So in, uh, is there one in particular that you're listening to right now? No, I'm not listening to anything right now. Okay. There's a fellow mm. online now that does uh, Willie Nelson covers of uh, rap songs. Yes. So he he, bring, he sings all the rap song, rap music, and in the the team of Willie, how Willie Nelson would sing it. Yeah, so interesting. That sounds good. <laughs> it's different. I need to check it out. I have a There's a bluegrass cover of Gin and Juice that is Oh my gosh. Excellent. <laughs> I have a uh, an album of bluegrass covers of Van Halen songs. <laughs> a couple of them David Lee Roth sings on. Oh, cool. It's called Strumming with the Devil. Mm -hmm. I need to check all of that out. Bluegrass covers. Yep. What about you, Annie? I like Odie's, like Frank Sinatra. Oh, yeah. nice. nice. Jim Jones. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I don't like the yeah. music nowadays are kind of sketchy. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. So throwbacks and Odie's are <laughs> ones for me. Now, the definition of oldies kind of changes no, with yeah, the time. Like in a couple of years, Yeah, oldies like yeah. Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nirvana is classified as classic rock. Now, yeah. And that just makes me cry. In a couple of years, throwbacks will be oldies. Mm -hmm. And then oldies will be classics. <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry. This drawing is coming out better than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> no, you can't That's see exciting. it. It's not done. Oh, okay. All right. Can we know what? There's even going to be a, a title. A title? Oh. Yeah. And uh, Paola. What's the que question? tipo de música <laughs> es tu favorito? Adam gets Favorita. so many points on the drawing <laughs> by, <laughs> by speaking Spanish. Uh, favorite music? Yeah. <laughs> I like oh. oh, wait. What happened? No, no, go ahead, Paula. I'll see it after. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, 80s and 90s rock, especially Ooh. in Spanish. Oh. Yeah. Like, Have a favorite? Um, right now, I think I've been listening to a, a lot of Puerto Rican bands. Oh. Local, so. <laughs> hmm, let me think. I don't think I, I, I don't think I have a favorite one. 
I, I need to get your playlist after. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, he's not seen it yet. I just the <laughs> Artwork. I'm excited to see A masterpiece Jules drawing. <laughs> 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 Can I see it? Oh, Urshin King, guys. <laughs> it, 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 is, it is a secret. It's pretty for the wall. I can sign it, it's yeah. It's doing echolocation and everything. Yeah, yeah. I Urshin love King it. is using his echolocation. <laughs> or maybe he has Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He produces Wi-Fi. Whenever the computer <laughs> shuts down again, we just, instead of sonars, Adam can use his like location. Yeah, you strap me to the bottom of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have chat saying, I bet Thomas is a good rapper in Gaelic. Ooh. <laughs> I'd actually like to hear you rap. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like rap music, but in Spanish, it's I'm good. Not, I'm, not a, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of rap music. I like Willie Nelson, like. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, Which where did that did message come from? What, what region of the world did that message come from? Huh? <laughs> Which one did you point to? Oh. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> I am not a reggaeton fan. I don't know if you've oh, heard that song, oh, but oh. lately it just reminds me of home because of how oh, much right. my friends put it. So now I'm listening from time to time. It's good. But the old reggaeton, not the new one. Mm. Really? Yeah. Do you I have like a playlist? <laughs> I sadly do. I'm oh, not no. a Because <laughs> I'm trying to update I my it. plug it. <laughs> Actually, Actually there's a lot of pop there. songs that I think are, are bad but I like them because uh, of the beats of no not even <laughs> um I, I I guess just because the association oh. with I don't, I don't even know <laughs> good times yeah yeah that that's nice but I don't actually think that they're good songs you can think they're good songs this no is a, this is a judgment free zone no the thing is here. like I wouldn't enjoy them Otherwise, ah. does that make sense? Okay, yeah. No, because you're enjoying them. Okay. But like, is it you don't want to enjoy them, but you do? No, it's more like, well, <laughs> okay, so did everyone Let's see dissect them. the movie um, Maverick last summer? I did see that, yeah. yeah. I So I saw that with some friends. And it was a great time. And there's this song. And hold on a second while I look it up. Uh, yeah, it's a One Republic song called um, I Ain't Worried. And I thought it was very obnoxious. But then we started just started playing it the whole summer, mm -hmm. and now I hear it and I'm like, oh, nice. that summer. But I still think it's really annoying. <laughs> you have a complex relationship with the song. Yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> so this song is not rock, but my favorite one I think would be Ojos Color Sol. So it means um, eyes. I the color of soy. <laughs> Sun. <laughs> Sun. <laughs> it's a very beautiful song. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna listen to it. It's not so much um, the the melody, but the lyrics. It, it was mm. written by okay. a Puerto Rican poet, that. and then they converted it into a song. Okay. Awesome. Thank you.
You know, you can do the Cotton Eye Joe to just about any song. The what? The Cotton Eye Joe. What is that? Uh, oh, what? You know. No, no. Yeah, yeah, no, never mind. Uh, it's hard to explain yeah. without doing it. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm very lost. <laughs> no, it's okay. Cotton Eye Joe. Wait, Wait I just looked dance up to oh. it. It's like. Oh, it's a dance. It's a dance. It's a dance. Yeah. Uh. Paula, uh -huh. while they figure that out, yes. were you just talking about a Calle 13 song? I, I love Calle 13, yes. I did too. Oh I, didn't realize, I just looked at the song and I was like, oh, I didn't realize this was that. Calle 13? <laughs> yeah. And really Residente. Good. Those two. Wait, have you seen them in concert? I have not. Okay. Paula hasn't been to a concert. <laughs> <laughs> just not bars. yet. But I would love to see, like, Calle 13 doesn't exist anymore, but Residente Wait, really? Was, yeah. Oh, and did they break up? Yeah, they no. did. Sadly. But oh. Residente has a sister now. It's called Ile, ah. and her songs are really good too. Okay, good to know. Say la vie. Yeah, but Calle 13 is a Puerto Rican rapper, sort of, and he makes a lot of political statements with his music about our status and things that need to be changed in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. and one or two songs are very beautiful about love and the beautiful of all things, and one of them is Ojos Color Sorry. Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. I will listen after this watch. Yeah. I, Wait, I, I, yeah. What song do you like about Calle 13? I mean, all the like classics, like Atrevete and. Oh, yeah. yes. The, like, um, what's ones. the other one that's really good? Uh, I'm totally blanking. I haven't listened to them in a while. I'm going to have to see if I still have them downloaded. One of the songs that he has is called Tango del Pecado. It's yeah. Not, it's a very, like, it's, it's close to reggaeton. And one time I was, I, I was diving with my friends and we were like eating at a stop. And this is a couple of tourists who were looking at us like we were natives or something, like judging from far. I don't know what huh. was happening, but my friend was like, Paula, put this on really like loud <laughs> <laughs> so we can finish the judgment. <laughs> So we like drove Finish really the judgment. slow. Yeah, we drove really slow in our car <laughs> and put that song to like really high. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I also like No Hay Nadie Como Tu. Oh, yeah, I love that That was that a song. nice one too. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it's funny. I listened to them in high school because um, a, a couple of friends and I were really into reggaeton. And then in college, like in a Spanish class, they had us translate <laughs> songs, and I was Ooh. like, whoa, we're learning a lot of vocabulary here. Because, <laughs> yeah, very political and also sometimes <laughs> explicit. Yeah, he gets very explicit yeah. really fast, <laughs> depending on the song. But yeah, good for vocabulary building. <laughs> I'm going to tell my friends back home that they use Calle 13 when I call it. What are we at? 40 minutes? 45? Are we going slower? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> uh, we get, is it intermittent? We were trying to give you candy, so we went faster. <laughs> no, it's half an hour now. Intermission. I have more if you green pick it up. Yeah, it's green day, isn't it? Intermission, that's all. <laughs> there we go. Should have an intermission. Let's get that music. Huh? So what's, music. What is oh. happening here? I don't know. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, if you look at the gauge on the upper left there. Yeah. So when I try and drive ahead. Oh. See how it That's all interesting. Drops way down? What do you think it's doing? Everything, that's what's going on. Everything's good. We're working in tandem here. We haven't lost a, we haven't lost a beat on the way down. So I think the issue is that there's, there was a strong current yesterday. Today. Wasn't that today? I don't know. Whenever that, that was today. Was that was this morning. The last, <laughs> the last event where we had the, oh the time no. came to a stop. Yeah, that was this morning. Oh. And TJ like looked like he was haunted. <laughs> it's, like, it's like driving with the handbrake on. Yeah. Much it was painful to watch.
I wish we could play music. Right. While we're descending. Totally unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> we probably could, except it would. We wouldn't. We can talk over it, you know? Yeah. We do play it in the sub sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Mostly on the way down and the way up, though. I just feel like there aren't enough shanties on this boat. Ooh, he's letting the cat out of the bag. You're not supposed to let the oh, cat really? out of the bag. Dave? For everyone tuning in, the dive will be about 23 hours. If you are just tuning in, head on over to nautiluslive.org for our highlights from our previous dive. Stay tuned. What's our ETA, please? Uh, you can't go by that. Don't look. Don't look. Uh, somewhere between 20 minutes and longer. Okay. <laughs> About 20 or so minutes. No. 30 <laughs> minutes. 30 minutes. Thank you. <laughs> Ask us again in a bit. We'll let you know. <laughs> We're having a variable descent speed. What do we got for word of the day? Or did we already oh, do yeah. that on the no, last one? No, we did walk? not. Great we question. I'm on it. The overall, the, the yeah. pressure's down. I haven't changed it. Huh? Interpolate. The Interpolate. pressure is down. That's a good word. What it should be. And I haven't changed to the amount of thrust. Estimate huh. looks like a research, is, is there values a like a between other values. Is that yeah. how they define it? Uh, used to talk about interjecting or inserting something, especially words or a musical instrument. Yeah, see, that's a critic weird. might yeah. interpolate a that's comment into a conversation. You oh, that's that? not how I use yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> In statistic, it means that, I think, yeah. what you mentioned. Wow. Yeah. That's really odd. I'm with Adam. I like the technical uh, definition huh? of interpolation. Hmm. So, right. so derive people use it as, whoever's speaking is a little I'm quiet. I'm interpolating huh? something into something else? Yeah. Like sticking something in, I guess? Yeah. yeah. I've never heard it really used like that. No. Oh, in mathematical backup. context, mm -hmm. the word can also mean to estimate values huh. of data or a function between two known values. All right. Sorry, missed that part. Well, I'm glad you interpolated that second <laughs> definition <laughs> in to the conversation. Uh, what's it doing? Wow. Is it Bobby Argus? You could say there are a gamut of uh, interpretations of this word. Yeah, I mean it runs the gamut. If you want a more uh, plant-based definition, it's like a bower of different <laughs> oh my God. words coming together. <laughs> what was the word of the day? I missed it. Interpolate. Oh. Yeah, but listen to their definition of it. It's funky. Um, to talk about interjecting or inserting something, especially words or a musical element, um, or in mathematical context, to estimate values of data or a function between two known values. Huh. An example, she interpolated a highly critical comment into the discussion. Yeah, that's a weird definition. Yeah. Interesting. We got a bone to pick with yeah. Miriam yeah. and <laughs> Webster. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's it was in the English odd. Dictionary in 1623. <laughs> so you need a time travel Sorry, as well. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get on the dinosaur train to go talk to those guys. <laughs> Welcome to the, the dinosaur Jurassic time period. What? 
Robert? I said it's it's not electronic. It's not my thing. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> anyone have any good stories? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're no. almost there. <laughs> God, we can't get there soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at 2200 meters, which means we are 22... 30 meters, 30. which means we are within a 100 or 200 meters of the bottom, probably less than that. Adam, what's your estimate based on uh, echolocation? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Six minutes. Thank you. <laughs> Can you be more precise? <laughs> oh. Five minutes, 41, 41 seconds. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I got an important right, that topic. What do you want to okay. what do you wanna call that? How do what people do feel about it? fruit well, fluctuation? Yeah. Mechanical wiggle. Yeah. In a mostly vegetable salad. Ooh. I, I got to tell you, I'm not a huge fan. Context dependent. Okay, regular salad, you're throwing some blueberries on there mm. or some, some grapes. Uh, it's biased. I don't like blueberries. Yeah, no. Wait. You don't like to blueberries? Uh, What's not to like? Uh, uh, it's maybe about the texture. I think it's a texture thing. Ah. Yeah. You know what? If they're like really fresh blueberries, I used to work on a farm, and like if I eat them like right off the, was it vine bush tree? Bush, bush, bush. Did okay. you work at a blueberry farm? It was a berry <laughs> farm. It was. Okay. Then I was like, yeah, this is, I can do this, uh, but just a regular old blueberry? Uh-uh. Hmm. Interesting. So, like, I feel like a salad, maybe, like, That's strawberries sweet. or grapes. Right. But there can be peppers at the same time. Oh. Or tomatoes. Mm. Tomatoes are a fruit. Yeah, I know. Uh, I knew that was like coming. Well. Oh. Tomato. <laughs> They're a fruit, but, but they're... They're not really a fruit. Mm -hmm. We don't treat them like a fruit. Yeah. Four minutes. <laughs> God. <laughs> Seems interminable. I know. <laughs> uh, I wish we could just um, interpolate ourselves on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> hmm. What is that critter I called? I, f I forget. It's got the little wings there on it. Oh, the, like, sea... Pteropod. Pteropod, yeah, that's right. But that's a cum jelly. Oh. oh. <laughs> that was but also right. Thanks. Good word, though. I'm picking up Doppler. Uh, so, what are your Doppler. salad fruit rules? What do you think? Uh, I don't... <coughs> I don't really think it belongs there. I agree. I agree with you. Okay. All right. There's nothing bodies? wrong with a fruit salad. Oh, okay. nothing wrong. Nothing with that. wrong with that. Uh, as long as there's no bananas, that's wrong. You. Well, I can I can get down with bananas. I mean. No, no, because they look, get a little slimy. They get slimy, and then they get everything else slimy, and then it turns brown, and you find the little stringy parts in your salad, and no one wants that. Nobody wants that. No one wants and that. Everyone says that's a bad thing, but. Yes. The humble banana is really 
a great food. I mean, nutritionally speaking. Right. Yeah, more nutrition. But in yeah. terms of, like, you know, sometimes I have a hard time with bananas. Like, I'll start one, then I get to a certain point, and I'm so disgusted by the banana that I'm like, I can't do this. You know what you need? And I have you need to apple bail. bananas. <laughs> Do you have apple bananas in, what in is Samoa? Apple bananas? Apple, apple bananas. bananas? Yeah. Apple. They're like the little small bananas. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, we oh, do. Oh, this seems like something that I could. Yeah. yeah. We do. This yeah. is yeah. more you want manageable. Those. Yeah. I could do that. That's like a half a banana, in, but in a whole banana shape. I didn't know they were called okay. apple bananas. That's All awesome. Right. Well, thank you for enlightening me. I'm trying to see the name. So banana is guineo in Spanish, and that banana... Wait, banana is what? Guineo. Guineo? Yeah. So this one is guineito, like a oh. guineito. <laughs> yeah, so what is ananas? Pineapple? Pineapple. Oh, yeah. Just, I thought it was... Uh -huh. I thought it was like... Uh, Wait, Annie, how do you call them? Hold on. Fai. Fai? Fai. 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 Oh, nice. And hello is talofa? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was uh, platano for... Platano. Oh, bananas. platano is another type. We have different types of bananas. Oh, like plantains. Oh, wow. Okay. From platano, you can have mofongo, which is really good. It's mofongo? mashed. Yeah. Oh, I've had that. It's so good. It's one of my favorite yeah. plates. It's really good. You can boil them. You have then you have quineito al escabeche. If you Ooh, fry jelly. them... <gasps> yes, oh. if you fry them. <laughs> if you fry them... You have Chifles. tostones. Tostones. Yeah. Mm. And you can do whatever you want. Paula, I need to visit you in Puerto Rico. We eat good. That's true. Let's see what else you can do with them. You can't eat them raw. That's just wrong. Okay. So Why? Have there people that eat them raw? Not anymore. Those people are gone. <laughs> They are gone by <laughs> natural selection. <laughs> Banana and peanut butter. Solid. Really? Oh. Okay, what well, this is in someone is called soa. -a. Soa. -a. Oh, Ooh, okay, Adam. Oh boy. Your pronunciation on oh, point. Yeah, Adam, <laughs> track and bottom. Soa. -a. Oh, almost very slopey, 23, 45 no. meters. I yeah, just found out that we have Honey Nut Cheerios on board. Yeah. <laughs> and yep. I'm mad that I didn't know earlier. <laughs> Actually, it's probably for the best. I would have eaten them all. I didn't have, we have to fight Flavio. He seems to be into the... It's going <laughs> to take a lot of self-restraint. HNCs. HNCs. <laughs> can make a trade offer. Okay, what about best cereal? Oh. I don't even really think it's a competition because Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best cereal. What? Oh, what? You know, that was my oh, favorite cereal. Oh, there's the bottom. <gasps> is that the bottom? Where? That's the yes, bottom. That's the bottom. Found it. Let's go. Oh, yay. Chat, we are at the bottom. We have reached. Um, right, so I gotta say, it's probably Honey Nut Cheerios is. now, though. Okay. It's all right to not not be right about everything. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> it's to agree to disagree. <laughs> Do you have azucaritas in yeah, the States? It's just azucaritas? Like yeah. Sounds good. I don't think we have it, but I would eat it. I'm, I'm is it a sugary cereal? It's oh, got yes. sugar right in the name. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much sugar. This, it's it's basically, little sugars. <laughs> Oh, this one. Little just, sugars. I have no hydraulic pressure. Oh, yeah. like Frosted Flakes? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frosted like Flakes is good. Azucarillos. Okay, Frosted Flakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, science, if we could take a few minutes to get settled with RV. Yep. And video, thing. Let's go. Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa puffs. Mm. Fruit loops. Mm. 
Cocoa Puffs is all about what it does to the milk, you know? Get that chocolate milk right. afterwards. Yeah. yeah. You yep. know what I couldn't get behind? That cookie cereal. Oh, I, remember, just, I know what you're talking Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm with Never you. got into it. It just wasn't very good. Reese's Puffs. Never had it. Remember those commercials? Now, Grape Nuts. There's a cereal. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, they have like grape nut, uh, like ice cream. Yes, in the northeast. I don't understand that. I don't either. I Is don't it know like who a Ben and Jerry's that. type of ice cream? No. No, Ben and Jerry's wouldn't do that. <laughs> no. That's bad. It's like, let's take a bad food and put it in an ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Someone said, let's Same ruin problem? ice cream. <laughs> what? Same problem? Yep. Interesting. We have no hydraulic pressure. That's the problem. That's really weird. That's very clear right there. Yeah. No hydraulic pressure. But why? Because we're getting blown by the current. And yeah. And time I give it a combination of down the and back, we got nothing. Like, they're just giving it down, and it's, like, got nothing. Um, I'm going to reset the uh, DVL. So I have a question. What's your favorite brain food? Actually, Science, can we hold on a uh, conversation right now while we get... Yeah, of course. We're trying to get bottom again. That's odd. You want me to set the ship back while we're figuring this out? That would be good, yeah. Let's do that. Bridge nav. Can we do a step three zero meters bearing two two five, please? Yeah, thanks. Uh, I don't have contours. Um, oh, sorry. That way, potentially.
cross that load. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Some strong current. Like, wow. Oh, fish. Oh, yeah. What is that? It's the one with the big forehead. Yeah. I'm just at the end of the rope. I can't do anything. Maybe it was a cuskeel. I don't know. There's another rust cell. <coughs> yeah. And a crinoid. Uh, maybe a this is an exact repeat of this morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm so <laughs> desperate to see things that I'm like, <laughs> what could this one be? <laughs> What was the fish that we saw before with the big forehead? <laughs> Just now? No. Yeah. It looks like what we saw like our other dive bell. Oh. With was it a big a forehead? Why don't we just yeah. try and swing around, Robert? Or I can't swing around. No, can I? Because <laughs> you commented I'll on it. I'll probably tend to pull like, no, uh, Look at the forehead on that fish. We're at the oh, yeah. Down. I don't remember what that was. We're like tension on the line there. Is that a raw salad? I feel Neither like it's kind of, of going the other way. Anything. That might be a U-plug challenge. See that, that coral? Look at how much it's... Yeah, no, there's definitely a crack. Uh, big time. I think that's more likely you plug Tella. Okay. Yeah, because see how it goes out this way instead of this way? Oh, yeah. Ross, I let's look kind I of like... I don't think I can I think of them it. like mushrooms. Oh, it's definitely this. I found it. We're going to yeah. add another step here uh, to get closer. Bolosoma. Well, you, I'm just getting further away, though. We're getting blown. Right? I know. So... Yeah. Yep. Like, I'm That's full it. You're full back. back. Full I down. love this I game. Oh, wow. Anywhere. We're getting full blown. Yeah. Okay. Maybe well, if I could so get over this ledge and then <laughs> hide behind it. <laughs> uh, so, do we want to try? Oh, really? I mean, I can hide down below this ledge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to continue stepping the ship back yeah, then? Yeah. Okay. Bridge, Nev. Let's add another uh, three zero meters bearing two two zero, please. What's that? I have no idea. Yeah, you guys are cooking. Like, we just did a 30 meter step and you're already, you're still like yeah. 40 meters off of us, even though we Dude, were just started. Big coral. It doesn't make so any that's sense. That's what happened yesterday. And yeah. when they got down to the bottom, they were able to spin it around. Yeah. No, that step should have brought us like on top of Argus, and it is—it's you're moving. Yeah. Which way is the current heading? It's going southwest. Okay. Strong, like really blowing. Those are some big corals for this depth. Yeah. Wow. You got the chat somewhere there? No one's on. No worries. <laughs> Oh, 
maybe a plexora too. I'm gonna stay right here. Yeah, I was gonna say. And I'll wait for you. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't feel like you're getting pushes fast now. Let's see. It is what it is. Lee was on the next watch, so yeah. she'll she'll set it up. I texted Lee, but she's probably Yeah. Paula, can I hand this back to you? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Having the problems with driving down tonight. See that? <laughs> That's a mystery. What do you think happened? Maybe a valve is stuck open. Yeah. Yeah. But we cycled them. But So we're on dive 1955. Uh, do you think there's a possibility we might get to dive 2000 by this season? This season, for sure, I'd say. That's exciting. Yep. It's like the turn of the century. Oh yeah, we gotta have a dive 2K thing to worry about. Dive 2K. <laughs> <laughs> How was your experience moving when the 2000 came? Jeez, uh, let's see. So I was 25 years old. I probably wasn't thinking about it all that much. It was on the news, but I don't know. I don't remember. Did people think they were going uh, to die? Uh, I think the thing people thought was that like all the computers would turn off or something like that. Mm. Is that right? No, no, no. I don't know what they thought. <laughs> it was they because thought? of the date. Oh. Yeah, but because what they did they think was going to happen? They hadn't allotted for the characters for 2000s. Yeah. So all the computers, you know, the... Wouldn't know the date? Yeah, the date would be messed up. So all the accounting software and the banking and all that, they were worried that was going to... I'll okay, that's old. why I didn't care about it. I, really <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> heavy into the accounting software. <laughs> but they put out a lot of patches for that, and it was pretty much yeah. a non-event. That's it kind of dramatic that people were like, it's the end of the world. I don't think anyone thought that. I don't remember. Software. I don't remember being worried about it. And it, it was kind of a different era right like computers weren't all connected to the internet getting like updates on dates in and time yes they were the no. internet, internet you have was like, like in the early 90s yeah but first. but it wasn't like every computer no but i was think getting a lot of auto the, updated with dates and stuff like but that i think a lot of the accounting software and stuff was all written in COBOL, and like people didn't they didn't know COBOL anymore. So that was like, if you were a COBOL programmer, you were in hmm. big demand. What? People made a big deal out of this? Yeah. What was the problem? Um, okay, there were errors related to formatting and storage of calendar data for dates in and after the year 2000. Huh? Many programs represent four-digit years with only the final two digits, making 2000 Sorry, indistinguishable from 1900. Huh? Yeah. Oh. What's the matter? That's okay. why I, I ran up a lot of debt in December 1999, <laughs> hoping that it would all disappear, but then they fixed it. <laughs> what? This is wild. I did I not know. know that much about this, but people were like, 
Stockpiling yeah, food and water, yeah, and yeah, firearms. The end and of the world. Yeah, but you had something similar as well when there's <laughs> the end of the Mayan calendar and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that was 2012. 2012? You know, like people yeah. are like, oh my gosh, the Mayan said 2012 is the year the world was going to end. But yeah. everybody, our island stayed up. 1201, everyone was laughing. Ah. Yeah, I remember being in middle school and like the teachers had like a long talk about Y2K and like it was gonna be okay. But I remember when it happened in like during like that day. It's a big yeah. deal. There was a worry that That's the really stock wild. market and all yeah. the banking and stuff would just all yeah be all screwed up and yeah. I funny. also wasn't there some <laughs> maybe this is just my like brain forming during that time but <laughs> like <laughs> zip, like metal zippers the the big company is y2k and i remember like in school everyone was like if your clothes have y2k on them <laughs> like <laughs> they may be dangerous I think that had to, <laughs> what i think that had to do with being oh, in no. middle school, middle school. <laughs> now, uh, i don't actually think is the zipper company y2k or is it's, it like yzz or something like that i think it's it's like white well well, I'll look into I gotta it. Look at, everyone's looking at their zippers now. <laughs> Jacket zippers. Well, mine doesn't say anything. <laughs> oh, it says, the end is near, signed, the Mayans. Okay, mine says, it says oh YKK. Yeah, like Y2K. Yeah. Y -K -K, yeah. But still, it's Y2K. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. I was actually born on that day, one one two thousand. No what? way, for real? Yeah, for Are you real. Your birthday real? is New Year's Day? <laughs> yeah. What? Oh my yeah, God. That means you're zero years old. No one's ever been able to know the date. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So how is it to have a birthday on New Year's Day? It's kind of fun. Yeah. There's always like a party. Right. So yeah. I imagine. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of birthdays in general. So it's mm. like... There's something exciting going on, but I don't have to be at the center of it. I can just, you know, have so fun. So, not a fan of birthdays. You mean birthday parties or just that they that you get a year older or? Um, well, I don't care about getting older, not really. Yet. Just like the whole, okay, not yet. I don't care yet. <laughs> but like, I don't know, birthdays just seem kind of like miserable. Like there's a lot of pressure on them. I know a lot of people who are like, I hate my birthday and like, uh, I don't know. Huh. I kind of like that there's like some pressure removed, I guess. Yeah. You got it. Mm -hmm. But there is usually cake involved also. Yeah, I like that part. We got any birth? We already had a couple birthdays on this cruise, yeah? Paolo's really? birthday is coming up. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Hey, listen, don't get stressed. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. But it better what? be the best well, birthday wait. ever. <laughs> <That's probably laughs> fine. When's your birthday? In three days, I think. What? Yeah. Happy the, on your birthday. The 29th? The, the 30, but I, I saw this. 30. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, three GMT, days. it'll be your birthday in. Yes. Three days. I had a crisis like <laughs> a <month> what? <laughs> because I thought I was turning 23 and 24 sounds very adult and I don't feel very adult just You thought yet. you were turning 23? Don't put that yeah. pressure But on what yourself. are you turning? 24. Oh. <laughs> that's almost half. That's a quarter of my life. That's almost half. <laughs> that's almost, oh my god. Uh oh. Me and Robert aren't feeling <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is painful. Jeez. Less than that left. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, you, <don't. laughs> you got a good. You got. You got some time before you have to really adult. Really adult, yeah. Yeah. That's good advice, thank you. I think it's like w when you buy a couch, <laughs> like not pick one up off the mm, street, but okay. you like actually buy it, then you're you're an adult. <laughs> that's. But that's yeah, that doesn't sound like something passage. I would do right now. That'd be like off metric. the street. Maybe also be when you have stairs. In your house, uh, oh my not God. stairs to get to your house. These are very arbitrary. House. These are t <laughs> the, t the Mayans uh, said the same thing. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. 
But I will tell you, buying a sofa is kind of a shock. You're like, really? Oh. That's how much they cost? How I don't want to do, do it. A, they, they cost a lot. Yeah. They're expensive. Yeah, even back home. Yeah. Like, it's over a thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. What? Yeah, over a thousand dollars. Over a thousand dollars? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? No. No, I'm not. I wish I was. <laughs> like, no, yeah. All right, this is years off for me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to worry about this right now. I feel vindicated in, in my assessment of this as a adulthood metric. <laughs> <laughs> my experience is uh, vastly different. <laughs> what did you experience? Oh, but well, by the time I was 24, I had. Uh, been married for four years and had two kids. What? Dave, you're a little wow. quiet on, on my end. Is it anybody yeah, Dave, else? Speak up. Okay, well, I'm watching the meters in front of me and I'm speaking up here. So, yeah, so I was uh, adulting way before I was 24, I guess. Wow. So you had two kids? Yes. Wow. And a couch? Yes. <laughs> and a couch? Wow. Yes. <laughs> wow. What were you doing for work? Uh, working in television. Okay. All right. Wow. That's wild. My wife got paid more than I did. She worked, uh, she had a good job with good benefits. What did your wife do? She time? was uh, a, an occupation that no longer exists. She was a telephone operator. Oh. Whoa. A long distance telephone operator. Oh. Nobody is a long-distance telephone operator anymore. No, yeah. <laughs> but that's very Actual that's humans. neat. Uh, she was in a union, had great benefits, uh, got paid more than I did, that kind of stuff. So, yep. Yeah. So you were adulting. Yeah, when I was 24, way it was, more uh, than us. It yeah. was 1980. Yeah, that was when our second son was born. Uh, wow. And, uh, and we bought a house and wow. a couch. Good for you. Yeah. I don't know. It's just how life works. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't waste an awful lot of time going to college like y'all. What? Because <laughs> I don't have a degree. So just rocking my high school diploma here. <laughs> Dumbest guy on the boat. Not even. Come on. I wouldn't say so if you yeah. had a, a house and a couch and, a, and some kids. And a wife by 24. <laughs> I'm, Honestly, I think that's better than I'm doing right now. That's goals right there. No, I'm just kidding. Happy to be here. Then, no. <laughs> just <laughs> can't do that anymore. I don't want a child. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> so, Adam, what were you doing at 24? Uh, 24. I guess I was. So what's really given? Probably in graduate school, or uh, the pressure. Let me give it some ahead. Look at that. This goes. 18, 20, right? Yeah, I was in graduate school. Graduate school. Yeah. Nice. Eugene, Oregon. Eugene, Oregon. Uh huh. Is that the other school that's competing with Oregon State? Lila told me yeah. something about that. Mm hmm. See that? Like she any, told me Oregon State is any better. Any head. Well. It is. In, if, in you, if, you, if you can't get into University of Oregon, yeah, you definitely want to go to Oregon State. <laughs> 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 All right. No, I th I'll, I'll the take only, that the challenge. The only one game she wins. <laughs> yeah. She told me that Fall Oregon State won. State. Yep. Huh. And they did win last year. But the eight years before that. <laughs> um, oh, no. That's sad. Adam. What? Did you work out today? I certainly did. Oh. Uh, did, did you not? You? I did oh. not. Were you hoping right. Adam would um, say no? You're, you can have whatever the worst one is tomorrow. Okay, you can listen. Have. Wait, the inter we don't there have aren't any tomorrow. There was no AC. Yeah. It was pouring rain. Just get a, get a good lather going. I you know? was unconscious, and by that, I mean I was taking a nap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I'll take the, I'll, I'll do it. You can have whatever the worst one is okay. tomorrow and the next day. There are, are there, no and there's none tomorrow and the next day? No. Oh, Saturday well, that's awfully Sunday. kind. Saturday and Sunday. I haven't asked Coralie if she did it. 
Coralie did. She, she did? She did. She checked with me. I might. Um, oh. What? Just a thing. Oh, just cool. a floater. Um, maybe I'll do a couple push-ups and call it a workout just so I can <laughs> say I did it. You know what? I'm giving you a pass. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just don't want the pass. Okay. Like, it just feels like, like cheating. 